What's up YouTube? It's now the 27th of October and I just arrived at my school. I started my day uh, typically with 50 gram of oats and one scoop of whey protein and that's my typical breakfast and after that I take my, my morning subs let's say one multi multivitamin, uh, nothing crazy just a multivitamin um, I think it was like three euros like four bucks for that whole thing and it will last me two months so it definitely won't uh, break the bank as I say and yeah I also take creatine that's micronized creatine and I just take five grams of that each morning um, it doesn't matter if you take it every morning or before training or stuff like that because creatine it doesn't work immediately it works over time so I just take it every day I just take it every morning so I don't forget it. And I also brought my meal for this afternoon. It's just 150 grams of, of pasta with uh, just some herbs, uh, nothing too crazy, no sauce or anything. And I also brought the protein bar for some more protein. What is up YouTube? And now we are Wednesday the 28th of October and I will leave for school in half an hour. But before I do that, I want to do a little commentary over the workout footage from yesterday, the 27th of October. Yesterday I came home from school and after school I edited the video from yesterday, the one with the starting point, episode 3. And after that I went straight to training, I did the back workout, which you will see in a few moments. And then after that I had soccer practice immediately after, football practice. And after football practice I was tired and beat up. And I went to sleep, so I'm going to do this commentary now. It was a back workout and we started off with dumbbell pullovers and lately, the last few weeks, this, this has been my favorite exercise. Really a good, good contraction and I start every workout with a huge pump after this exercise. Um, what I suggest you do is you uh, search for the best contraction with a low weight and I usually start with just 20 kg, very very uh, low weight and I search for that contraction and I definitely search for that stretch, get a good squeeze and yeah, uh, just build your way up. Uh, my last set was 40 kg, 90 pounds, pretty heavy for me and I did uh, about 8 reps got a solid solid pump. Beginning I was a bit skeptical about this exercise but now I really like it. Normally we do barbell row for an accessory for the deadlifts and we do high reps, 12 to 15 reps but because Andy has been having some hip issues uh, since the last squat workout we decided to change it up and do kind of barbell cable row if you would call that and you might be asking why we're sitting on a higher platform it's because we can row the bar into our belly and it's a different contraction you should try it very good uh, you can also do it without the platform um, but then you will hit other back muscles we prefer it doing on the on the step after that we did the pull down underhand pull down uh, 12 to 15 reps nothing special uh, really burning out the back and after the pull down we did another row we chose to do a chest support row with dumbbells to really worn out those lats and those rhomboids and yeah, that's it for back. From time to time we do a rear delt exercise but yesterday we didn't chose to do that. Uh, we will do a rear delt exercise on Friday, the other back workout. And yeah, after back it's biceps, we did heavy dumbbell curls, uh, 6 to 8 reps, going heavy with, with good form. Uh, not too much swinging and after the dumbbell curls we just did the cable curl to get good contraction and really burn out our biceps. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. I will see you in the next one. Peace!